Retro time. Retro time. Retro time. Retro time. Retro time. Retro time. It's what retro retro time. Retro time. It's retro time, ladies. Retro time. Retro time. Hi, Amanda Armstrong, and welcome to the back office retro time. It's been a while, but I'm back, and I'm going to be playing some Space Harrier on the arcade. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. I hope my audio level's about right. I know that a lot of you like to listen to the music, but some of you like to listen to the voice, so it's always a compromise. But I like uh, Space Harrier music, so I'm going to try to keep quiet through most of this and just enjoy the ride. Enjoy this game since a kid. I just love it so much. I'm addicted. And I've got an, an arcade stick I've made. Have a look at the videos on how I made that and it's brilliant it's like a flight stick for Space Harrier specifically I'm gonna play this I'm gonna to try to do it in as few continues as I, I uh, can I was trying to think maybe I'll just preload it with a hundred continues and then work my way down I'm not sure but mm, let's try that actually I'll just try to hit the. no I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna hit the button a few times we'll go just hit him as I need welcome to the fantasy zone get ready let's start with 102 lives. There we go. Work our way down. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Getting comfy. This is one of those games where you wish you had an auto fire joystick. I'm going to have some blisters. Yes. the boss already. Although in Space Harry you have a boss every two seconds. Geezer, he's a right geezer. What am I doing? Get ready. Okay, sorry guys, gotta get comfy. Get ready. This is a very fatiguing game. Get ready. I love this level. I love these like weird jellyfish dudes. Look at these graphics for like, I don't know, 1984 or something. Yeah. 
beautiful game. It's sort of blown your mind back then. Oh, I love it. This is a day when you're going to wish you had your coffee. I haven't had a coffee today at all. I need my Futurama's Fry 100 mugs. Get ready. Gotta get my you're doing great. trigger finger working about that. Yes! Bonus stage! Never-ending story. Let's eat some trees. No. Thanks, buddy. He's just running. He's running and running and running. You're doing great. He can run as fast as he flies. It would have been quite nice when you run if it slowed down, so that was like your break. Come on, come Get on. Ready. Mysteriously quiet there all of a sudden on my headphones. Get ready. Favorite home port? Probably the Atari ST. Oh, don't use the mouse. Mouse is probably the best alternative Get to crappy ready. joysticks at the time though. Brutal. Get ready. The stereo separation of the music is awesome too. Get ready. You're doing great. I think we're about halfway through. If I remember, it's 14 stages, maybe 16, something like that. I love that the idea that people could be doing gamer videos on Space Harrier, describing everything they're doing the same way they, you know, like as if they're playing Resident Evil or something. So I'm uh, just gonna like move up here and uh, try to avoid this missile, and uh, I'm gonna move my guy, and uh, he's gonna go around this this rock. Just wouldn't happen, wouldn't it? Let's face it, if you're talking, you're dying. You're the only great. talking you should be doing is swearing. Don't worry about those bosses. If you don't, if you don't manage first time round, you'll have to play them again anyway. So you'll notice the guy moves in a sort of jittery motion. That's because I haven't tuned this uh, dead zone on this Get stick, ready. so it's a bit... needs a bit of debouncing in the dead zone, but that's fine. Get ready. How are you 
you playing this in the arcade? It's just designed to eat your your coins. Like he's saying at the same time. Maybe you'd last longer just trying to avoid things and try to kill them. It's like um, Afterburn, impossible. Skellington Dragon. Yeah. You're doing great. Woo. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Yeah. I'd love to have one of these guys. 
flying around, smashing up obelisks. What? I only got four? You're doing great! Drail. So I'm not sure what if these zones, the fantasy zones, if these are like Get ready. different worlds or the same world, different areas or different portals. Okay, let's get serious. Get ready. Get ready. If you're shooting the shit out of everything, you're dying. Just keep pumping that trigger. Get ready. Ah, the Matrix. You're doing great. Scared him off pretty damn quick. They really don't want get to get ready. this far. Get ready. Get ready. What the hell? Get ready. I swear to God, the other day I flew through this like I was in the Matrix. Get ready. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Hang on. Had to take one in the face. For You're the doing team. great. How's it, how's it avoiding all these Get columns? Fly higher. This reminds me of a game on the NES. I think it was called The World Runner, Adventures of the World Runner, something of the World Runner. I used to have it on my Famicom. You did have to jump over holes though, so it's a simpler concept. Also, I had this on the Master System with the 3D glasses. Check out the Master System version of this. It's actually pretty Get damn ready. good for one of those home ports. I think it's one of the best. Get ready. Oh look, a skeleton dragon again. I kind of feel I already fought a two-headed version of this, so this is a bit of a letdown. Oh well, he's dead now. He be dead. Get ready. You're doing great. Dodge. I need some mecha style side dodges. They have them. Get ready. 
I like that pause, it just gives you long enough to hit something. I'm gonna lean back. Get ready! Uh oh, run out of lives. relatively slow rate of auto fire rather than me pumping it just so I can steer around things but it doesn't seem to help. Get ready. I think that's better off. Ah. Get ready. Jeez. Get ready. I'm not going to say what I think that looks like, but it's random. Okay, so two dogs and a dude and a shield. Let's go for the dogs. Get ready. He's throwing everything at us, literally. You're doing great. Let's do it. Get ready. The barbarian. These names are the bosses, by the way. Get ready. Get ready. You can try to learn their patterns. It does happen. They do have some. A lot of moving around while they're shooting and then they let you shoot them just for a bit. Yes, Willa. The old favourite. Get ready. Get ready. Yes. I Get ready. 
This is like a video exercise of saying Get somebody's ready. getting their arse handed to them continuously. Can you believe it though that this, if you think about it, Star Fox, the bosses in Star Fox were just like this, like a million, like a decade or two later. Get ready. Not two. Decade and a half. Decade. Get ready. Still, this goes to show you the performance of the arcades versus the home consoles. Skellington dog. Get ready. I wonder if there's some Space Harrier fan fiction. Ooh. Oh, I won. Look, and I had some lives to spare. I think I had 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 lives, I want to say. From 102. It's not bad going. Would have done it in less than a tenner. I like how the score is continuing to go. Oh, there you go, it's stopped. I think we need to put in the old name. Ugh. I like at the bottom it's got the letters, just so you know. Yeah, look, I've got 19 left. Ah. Oh. Well, thank you very much for watching this edition of Retro Time. I know it might not have been the most exciting seeing me getting my ass handed on a plate, but at least we got there and we finished it. How great was that? Isn't that a fantastic achievement? Thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe if you're that way inclined. Dislike if you feel that way. But either way, please comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.